Six counts of first degree murder and six years without a trial. Tonight it looks like we may have to wait even longer for an accused family killer to be put on trial in Collier County. Masak Damas was charged with the murder of his wife and five children back in 2009. He's even confessed. So, what's the holdup with the trial? And what is that holdup costing you and other taxpayers? Four in your corners, Carl Fortier. We're going to get you those answers tonight. Carl? The length of time it's taken to bring Damas to trial may be especially surprising since he has admitted to killing his family in their North Naples home six years ago. But since a guilty verdict could send him to death row, a challenge to Florida's death penalty in another case could delay his case even longer. I have 11 grandchildren. Now I lost five of them. I lost five. Why? This was Misak Damas's father's reaction six years ago while mourning the loss of his son's five children and their mother, Geraldine. After fleeing to Haiti, Misak Damas was eventually captured and brought back to Collier County, where he admitted to killing all six of the victims. He has sat in the Collier County jail since then, going through one court appointed defense attorney after another, in a case that seems to attract legal problems. His current attorney says the delays are not uncommon given that the state wants Damas to pay for the savage crime with his life. There isn't a death penalty case around that isn't a or wasn't a lengthy trial. At a case management hearing last week, defense attorney James Irma Cora argued that since the constitutionality of Florida's death penalty is currently being challenged in the U.S. Supreme Court regarding another murder case, any trial for Damas should wait until that case is decided. And then the Supreme Court of the United States says that Florida's death penalty scheme is unconstitutional for whatever reason. Uh, you can imagine the wasted resources uh, in having to do it over again. The Supreme Court isn't expected to make a decision on the death penalty until next summer. This week, Collier County Judge Frederick Hart signed an order granting the stay of trial, in other words, delaying it. And the Supreme Court angle may not be the only delay. The whole case may have to eventually move. Last week in court, there was discussion that the trial may need to be held outside Collier County. Irma Cora says all the local media exposure could affect potential jurors. If everybody who comes in says, yeah, I've heard about it, it's a terrible crime, and there's no way I could be fair, we may get halfway through and say, look, there's just no way we can get a uh, fair and impartial jury here. In the meantime, Damas sits in a jail cell. Since he can't pay for an attorney, taxpayers are funding his defense and his detention. The Collier Sheriff's Office says that it costs $107 a day to house an inmate in the jail. For Damas, that adds up to about $214,000 since 2009. In Naples, Carl Fortier, Fox 4, in your corner.